Hello everyone, I am Saitithne. Welcome to Saitaker. In this video, I will be talking about the floating windows in the MIUI 12 in the Redmi Note 8 Pro after updating to the MIUI 12 version. As you can see friends, so right now I am using the Redmi Note 8 Pro device and I got the MIUI 12 version update and definitely if you did not get the update, don't worry, very soon you will be getting the update. And before updating the phone, you should know always the battery performance and a lot of uh, features about the smartphone. Definitely try to subscribe to my channel and also do check the links in description for the MIUI 12 uh, playlist. As you can see friends, so there is a dedicated uh, playlist available only for the MIUI 12 uh, users only. So try to check that playlist. There you can find uh, plenty of features what got added in the MIUI 12. Definitely this is gonna be a biggest update for you all. So you need to know each and every detail uh, clearly about the update. So in this video, I'll be discussing one of the most uh, interesting feature which is called uh, floating windows. As you can see friends, right now, few applications which actually supports the floating windows you can uh, make it work like this so few applications like even you can use the youtube application where you can play the video and you can do the other task uh, here on the screen so to access that features you need to go to the special features and uh, here you can learn about the floating window options as you can see but right now i'll be showing you what are the different different methods of accessing the floating windows so first is that um, for example, right now I'm in the Flipkart application. So to access the floating window, uh, to check whether the app supports the floating window or not, there is two things you need to know. So first is that uh, when you swipe up, you'll get this kind of multitasking tray. When you long press on the application, if you see this small pop-up as you can see. So if you uh, notice this kind of small pop-up, that means the application actually supports the floating window. So these are what I'm talking about. So when you click that, the app will open automatically in the small floating window as you can see clearly so few apps which doesn't support the floating window won't uh, appear that option so for example let me open the security application and i open the security application and right now let me wrong press and show you as you can see clearly you can see this application is not actually supported with the flo floating window or the multitasking you can see clearly so in this way, you will get to know what applications actually supports the floating window and you will be able to use this kind of uh, scenario with the floating windows. And next, uh, second method how you can do that is that when you're in the flip cut and when you have this kind of smart uh, bottom bar, you can actually take the flip cut. Whenever you hold the flip cut application, you will get this kind of corner option as you can see. So there you can directly drop and once you are in that area, you will get the feedback uh, definitely. And once you get the feedback, that means the app got locked to that uh, pop-up window uh, feature. So in this way, you can access the Google Chrome application or uh, Flipkart application right now. So when you want to uh, open this app, for example, when you want to open the pop-up window app, just you need to tap one time, as you can see. So if you tap one time, you will get this uh, Flipkart application open or any other uh, floating window application open and you can access that and again you can drag and drop in the right side corner or the left side as you can see friends so this is an easy way of accessing and you can keep only the pop-up window at the corners of four corners of the mobile phones so you cannot just keep in the middle or anywhere else you need to keep only at the four corners so that is one thing to know that and next is that if you double tap so if you double tap, the application will open in the big screen as you can see right now. So right now, let me change to the pop-up window. So right now in the pop-up window, as you can see. So when you tap once, you'll get a small window and you can access. And again, you can get back there. And when you, and if you want to close this pop-up win, uh, this floating window, you need to take this bottom bar, as you can see, bottom bar, and you can just close it upside. So in this way, the floating windows are pretty useful in case uh, if you're watching the videos and playing the PUBG game or any other game or Call of Duty game to, to do uh, two applications at the same time, this is the best uh, feature which I personally like uh, using. As you can see friends, you can watch the videos and play the games or you can watch the videos and you can uh, text in the WhatsApp with your friends while watching the movie or anything. So this, this is a pretty much useful feature. I'll be doing plenty of reviews on this one in the future. So stay tuned by subscribing to my channel, Saitek Guru. And also to check the links in description for the wallpapers, what I'm using exactly in my devices. So see you in the next video, friends. Until then, bye.